The Ministry of Defence has advised the Aeronautical Development Agency and Hindustan Aeronautics Limited to consider strategic partners in the project to enhance its global potential. The Indian Air Force has pledged to procure seven squadrons of the AMCA Mark I and Mark II variant, however, this encouragement to involve strategic partners is being taken to enhance the program's export potential. By involving interested countries at an early stage, India can benefit from their expertise and technological contributions, and this collaboration with international partners can also facilitate the integration of advanced systems and technologies, leading to a more capable and sophisticated fighter jet. In a significant development, Hindustan Aeronautics has completed the integration of 110 km range Astra Mark 1 missile on Tejas aircraft, as well as indigenous advanced self-protection jammer pod, indigenous next-generation radar warning receiver, and phase 1 integration of hammer air-to-ground missile. Several pictures have also emerged showing the French hammer on the wing pylon of Tejas aircraft that would allow it to take out enemy hardened bunkers or ground targets at standoff ranges of more than 70 km in any type of terrain. At a time when the Ordnance Factory Board is working to deliver all 118 Arjun Mark 1A main battle tanks to the Indian Army by 2026, latest reports indicate that India's investment in the indigenous tank is attracting potential buyers from Africa. Russia has been the primary defense supplier to Africa, but with Russia leaving a void in the export market due to the ongoing conflict, African nations that are in need of armored tanks are now looking at the Arjun tank as a cost-effective and superior alternative. The Tejas NP-5 naval prototype has achieved a significant milestone by completing its engine ground run, which is a crucial element in the development of the TED-BF program. The NP-5 will be primarily used to conduct off-nominal landing trials, for studying and collecting critical data on the stress points experienced by the landing gears during different landing scenarios on aircraft carrier. The Indian Air Force has charted out a plan to extend the operational life of its fleet of MiG-29 fighter jets and this second life extension program will delay the retirement of the MiG-29 from 2027 to 2037. The project will be executed at the number 11 base repair depot of the Air Force, which is specifically mandated with the repair and overhaul of the MiG-29. Hindustan Aeronautics has announced that it has completed the production of 15 Pratchan light combat helicopters ahead of schedule, that will now be delivered to the Indian Army Aviation and Indian Air Force. After the user trials of the Dhruv Astro anti-tank guided missile from the light combat helicopter in the coming months, the highly anticipated full-scale mass production of 145 light combat helicopter will start by end of this year. Godrej Aerospace is developing crash-worthy seats for helicopters and fixed-wing aircraft in collaboration with Israel Aerospace Industries. It will be crafted with lightweight construction using advanced composite materials, and will be designed with paramount emphasis on comfort ergonomics and performance, enhancing the overall efficiency and effectiveness of military operations, and reducing dependency on foreign countries. The Ministry of Defence has granted approval to set up a 50 crore rupees testing facility for unmanned aerial vehicles in the Tamil Nadu Defence Industrial Corridor, which will be India's first ever defence UAV testing centre under the Defence Testing Infrastructure Scheme. The integrated testing complex will also target electromagnetic compatibility testing, as well as electronics optics electronic warfare and radio frequency antenna. Oh, my God.